My name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a really fun summer card for you today, but before I do that, I want to remind you that the August to December mini catalog, which used to be known as our holiday catalog, it will start on August 1st. If you ordered $50 or more from me starting April 1st since then, then they've gone out to you. If some of you already have them, because if you ordered um, last week, then I got them out to you, and then everybody else they've gone out today. So those that's exciting. If you want one and you don't have somebody sending you one, then let me know. Did want to tell you that. If you're on my email list, then yay, the Try It class for this is coming up. It's one of my favorite classes that I've ever done in the past couple of them that have just happened for the annual catalog. So this one, it's 10 cards. It will feature the 10 new papers and the embellishments and the ribbons and stuff that go with those. You get a PDF booklet that will you can keep forever that shows you different patterns that you can then switch with other papers, other suites in the future, things that you already have on hand. And then you get um, videos. There's not 10 videos. There's, I think for the last one, there were three. So, so they have three, three and four cards, I think. So it ends up to 10 cards. Um, but those are private and those are all part of it. So you get the videos and then you get all of the supplies and then you need to supply um, sentiment stamps and mostly just black ink so you can add those to it. So that's coming up and then I have a couple of other classes that are starting as well. One is the boho class and I know a lot of you really liked that kit. So if you, you can go to my website or if you're on my email then you'll get all the links to those. So the card I'm going to show you today is from the Whale Done Bundle and the suite for this is fabulous, 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 but I'm not using the the wheel punch today and I'm not using any of the designer series paper and the paper is probably my favorite part of this suite until you see the folder because that's what we're using today but before I do that you get to see a special thing in today's video so y'all know that I have been dyeing this ribbon if you watch all of my videos so we're to the next stage so I was going to do this yesterday and you know life happens and I had filmed two videos the day that I dyed the ribbon and so then I didn't film yesterday because you know I had to mail catalogs I had I had like the busy work and getting my classes all figured out so all that happened and I didn't end up filming so this is actually now sat here for about 24 hours uh, 48 hours so it's time to get it out and then you'll have to come back and watch the video again when we do the next little step but for now, I'm just going to take it out and let it dry. So this is the cinnamon. It's a whole spool. And you can go back. There is a video just of me doing this. Um, I should have got two things. I just pulled one. So I have just a bone folder. Sometimes I get like something from my kitchen. But I didn't grab anything up here. You just need to get it out. So you literally just grab a corner of it. This morning, um, I did use Pacific Point on my card that you're going to see in a minute. And I had it, and I almost dropped it, and I grabbed it, and I had blue ink all over my hands, and I had already showered. So, you know, then I had to take my nail polish off, and I didn't want to redo just one nail when, you know, you have need, need to do them all. So, my nails are kind of a mess, but I wasn't going to redo my nails when I was going to do this. So you just let it sit here and I don't like wring it out. I don't do anything to it. I like for it, you can see some of these are darker and some of them are lighter. I like for it, the color to still sit here. So there's the cinnamon. People have asked if you can reuse this and you can, but you have to think that most of the color has now sopped into the ribbon. So if you reuse it, you reuse the same color and then just you will have to add some new re-inker to it. So here we have the Mambo. I probably should have done this at the end because now I'm going to go work with a vanilla based card. But we'll just, that's, like I said, that's why I didn't do my nails before I did this card. So just kind of let it drip a little bit. Look how pretty that is. Did I say this is Mambo? It's magenta. It's the new color. And then here is a piece, and you can see this doesn't hold the, the color as well. That is from the flowers for every season. So it did turn magenta, but not nearly as well as 
my very favorite, the pink tool. I mean, the tool ribbon. Look how pretty that is. So this is part of my um, free gift with purchase this month. That for every $50 you spend, you get some ink spots and then you get some ribbon as well. So if you want some of this, I'm going to do some more colors too. I'm doing all of the end colors. I was going to do all six at once, but then I decided um, I would do three at once. I'm going to do the other three so you can come back and see all of those. Let me move these out of the way. And then we have, I'm really eager to see this one. It's been kind of hard to see because of the jar that I chose to put it in. This is the Midnight. And this one is the one that's going to be colored the least, I can tell. Use my scissors. This one has the smallest. When you do it, it's easier to pick jars that have a little bit um, wider lips. So you would think, because this is a really dark color, that it would color your ribbon really dark. And look, it doesn't. So it's all just one giant experiment. It's pretty, but it's a very, very light blue. It's pretty. I don't have a piece of the blue cardstock. So what you do now, yeah, I do. I, it's a piece of scrap. So you can see it's definitely the, the midnight, but you, when you see this re-anchor and you see this, that's why I tell everybody, because they're like, what color will this do? And I'm like, you got to try it to find out. The peacock really doesn't work at all. And that's a really dark ink. So this is pretty, but it's definitely a light, lighter version of the ink. So it's all just a test. You can see like right where the ink hits when I drop it in the water, it gets darker there. But you don't want to do all of it like that because that would take a whole bottle of your reinker. So there we go. So let's move on to our card. So we're going to move on to our wheel done. The star of this card is actually going to be the embossing folder, which some of you probably haven't even noticed. You'll notice it now because it's beautiful. So it's Sea Life. And I'm going to use Shimmer White cardstock. Now the secret to this, for this card at least, is there are some, um, not seeing Dollar Siri, starfish on here. And I want as many starfish on here as I can get. So I kind of, there's one here and then there's one over here and they can both just fit. So that was kind of how I lined it up. So you can see one here and one here, and then there's one at the top. And then this just makes, means that your um, card is straight. On this one, it doesn't matter so much because it's kind of all over the place. And then when you put your um, folder through, make sure you go with the crease first. Our new machine, the big machine, there is a small one, it won't be ready yet, but the new one's coming out in September. And if you buy it from me, it will be one of the classes that I have, some free classes with that. But look, is that not just stunning? So you can see the, um, forgot the word again. I took some migraine medicine this morning. It's going to storm here. Um, oh, those things, the starfish. <laughs> I'm like, it's a star. So you can see the starfish. And I really wanted those because I'm using the cinnamon ribbon and I colored those cinnamon. So now we're going to do one of my most favorite coloring techniques. And it's a great technique for those of you who don't have a lot of stuff because all it requires is ink pads. And for this one, really, I don't have all my stickers on, even though, well, I do. I just did the video on how to put the stickers on. I just kind of went through and I just pulled out C kind of colors. So you could really go with any colors that you had. And then I did use cinnamon because I'm using new ribbon. And if you saw my pines card that I just posted, this is the same set. And I used this on the pines card. These two come together and I wanted to use this on this. So that was why I wanted to use cinnamon. So I wanted the sand, um, starfish to be cinnamon. So I'm not going to color this whole thing for you. Let's do a good strong color. Let's go with the jade. So to do it, you need a wink of Stella. And you just kind of squish this down. And then you have a bunch of ink here. And then you just literally just get a tiny bit. You can see I've done my card already. And then I'm just going to color the raised up portions. 
So I haven't squeezed this. It has, once you squeeze a wink of Stella, it really has a nice flow that happens. And I just kind of paint till it doesn't have any more on it. And because this is on shimmer white cardstock, it's already shimmery. And as it kind of comes off, my brush, it does some nice shading. So I just kind of picked a color for every piece of sea life that was on here. It's coral and the starfish. I got it that time. Just underwater plant life. And then when you go to switch colors, like all of these, I just did all of those this color. So there's more of these up here. Sometimes they'll be darker than others. I didn't worry a whole lot about the shading. But this is a great way to color if you don't have a lot of coloring things because then all of your stamp pads become color. And you're like, well, maybe I don't want everything shimmery because maybe you're working on a guy card or you know somebody's face in something and you don't want it all shimmery. That's when you, you do this exact same technique, but you use a blender pen. So you can see, just do those. I find it really relaxing and I could do this forever. So there's those. I will do one of the starfish. So these are the two of our new in colors. And I mean, once you smash those down on here, you have enough ink that it lasts a really long time. So let's find one of them. Here they are. You don't really have to worry about staying in the lines because up close, you can see the raised definition that the embossing folder gives you. And here's one over here. I will tell you, I was torn because I chose Flamingo to be the orange that I used. I kind of felt like I should go with Coral because, you know, I colored the Coral with it, with Flamingo. But the flamingo is a tad lighter than the coral or brighter. Oh, where's one of the other ones? It's kind of like a hide and seek thing. So then you just color that all in. And through the magic of, um, I already did this before I filmed. Here is a, a finished one. So you can see it has a nice a nice bit of spark, a sparkle. Um, the paper shimmery too, so even the places that I didn't co color are not quite as shimmery, but there's sparkle to them. Then um, you're always, look how pretty the back is. It's just as pretty as the front. You could color the back, it would be a little bit different. It wouldn't have the same relief. Like on these things here, I used, I'll tell you the colors that I used. Like I said, I used Flamingo. I used Crumb Cake on those. I used Mint Macaron on the big pieces here. I used the Pacific Point, which was what did my nails in on just these things here. And on those, I picked up very, very, very little ink. And then I used Pool Party on all of these pieces here. And that's what we're going to use in a minute when we stamp. And then I used Seaside Spray on these. And this, again, I picked up as dry a brush as I could. And I just kind of went over it. And then I let the the raised up portion kind of grab the ink. So that's how you get your beautiful background. It would really make a, a lovely framed piece if you've been so lucky that you got to the beach during the year that is 2020. So we have that. So then I also have, I used this on the Pines card and since it was sitting here and because I didn't want to cover up a whole lot of this and see the blue that's still on my fingers, I thought it would be a good good way to get my sentiment on here and not lose a whole lot. Once you've co colored all that, you most certainly don't want to put a giant another piece on top of it. I did even think about embossing on some window sheet. But you, I've cut this to the biggest portion. So we have then two different mm, edges that we can go. Let's go with this one. You just slide it in and then I always still flip it upside down because see, it's easy to have it a little bit crooked and this way you can just make sure that it's in there flush. And just pop that off. It gives you a really nice little end and then you can cut it if you want after you've stamped. 
and have both ends be that, but we're gonna wrap ours around. But now we know how big we want it. So I'm gonna use the, sta the stamps and I pulled the words out and this says, my love for you is bigger than the ocean. So we're gonna go back to the cinnamon. Stamp it on here. And then we've got some little bubbles. And I'm gonna do those in pool party and it just gives the illusion of the water and being in the sea. And the pool party is a nice light color so I can be behind these words here and not cover them up. And then there's a little heart that comes in the set. This was the one when I popped it open, I just it almost fell and I didn't want it to land ink side down. Of course, if you're gonna drop one, it's gonna be one of your brightest, darkest blues. And when I grabbed it, I just grabbed it with my hands. So put that little heart on there. And then one more little touch. This is more a scrap of shimmer white. So I want it to go about here and we're gonna mess with it so I don't cover up my starfish. So about this much and then I wanna have a little bit of a wrap around. So we have this much scrap paper to work with. I'm gonna take, it doesn't really matter what color you start with. So let's go with Seaside Spray. It's one of my favorite colors. I'm gonna take a seahorse I've already done one of these, so I'm only gonna do one, but I want two for the card. And these are just really dainty stamps. Like they're very light. I wanted it to hold up a little bit more because when you got all this going on, you need a little bit more than just that. So let's just go back now and grab our Stella. And we're just gonna get just a tiny bit of the different colors. And just kind of give him a little bit more oomph so he stands up. We're not doing anything super fancy to him. But it'll just make him look like he can hold his own with all of that that's going on. Just darken him up a little bit. And I'm using a real light touch because I don't want to smear the pretty way that the stamp stamps. Because it does look really pretty. But now the specific point, because it's a nice dark blue, we'll kind of darken that up right in there. And then we'll get a little bit of the cinnamon. You don't have to use all the colors. You can use none of the colors. You don't have to do this if you don't want to at all. My niece that works in the, with ocean kind of things, oysters and the like. One of the first places, well, one of the places that we had intended to go this summer was to visit her out in Connecticut. And it will be one of the first places we can go when we can. But she will love this card. So that's all you need to do. And then this set is only a bundle with a punch, so there are no dies. I'm gonna do the one that I already did. It also makes them look like they're not the exact same little seahorse. So I'm just gonna trim these out and I'll fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so I have cut both of these out. They're simple to do. You don't wanna to get too close to them. Both my bad nails. Um, I have a piece of pool party cardstock and I've cut it long ways, just in half. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use my Seal Plus because I'm gonna add the ribbon to it. So I'm just gonna add one stripe of the Seal Plus and this, like I said, will be in the upcoming August catalog. So start back here on the back. Just put a piece here. And then you're just going to use this back here to hold it. So make sure every time you wrap it around the back that you make sure it grabs there. And I'm just kind of going for a little bit of, you know, C rope kind of look. So... That's pretty good. Don't want a ton. We want the, really, we want the seahorses, this, all that to be the, the focus of our card. So take this. 
We're going to take some dimensionals. We're going to help them hold the ribbon in. So put two there and then one over here on the end. And then this is where you want to kind of decide at what point you want to put your words on here. So you cover up or don't cover up, I guess, the part of your card that's your favorite. So here I have a, a starfish and here I have a starfish in here. So I want as many of those to show. So I'm going to stick it right about here and then move this over to here and then push that down. And I'm going to take some more of my seal plus because this is super strong Put that there. And then I'm just going to lightly wrap this around. I don't want it necessarily to be a huge crease. I want it to look kind of like it bends around there. I like that look. And then I'm going to take, these are tiny little guys, and take my little tiny dimensionals. I'm going to cut one of those in half because they only can use a half each. I'm going to stick them on their little heads. I'll stick one here. You know you've got something tiny when you only need half of a tiny dimensional. And then one there. And then one more little piece, but I'm gonna do, just go ahead and stick it on the card now. And then I wanna make sure that I get some seal about right here. Help hold that down again. It doesn't take very much of, uh, at all to hold this on because it's a nice, strong adhesive. How pretty is that? But then our last thing, and this is another place that helped me choose what colors to use. Oh, these are the um, Whale of a Time sequins. Take your fine tip glue and wherever you want to put one, just kind of add a dot of glue first. I like to put all my glue on first and then I just go back and add my sequins. So we'll just add some. Just random. And then take your take your pick tool over here, little gooby end. I need to buy a new one of these. I'm running out of goobies. And then I'm gonna start with there's a little shell. I'm gonna do that one first so I can get it right where I want it. Just lay that on the glue. And now for the rest of them, I'm gonna kind of just go so I get different colors. Go by colors. There's different colors and different sizes. So we'll get some big ones first. And we'll get some low ones. Go. I mostly want to get little ones up here on the tag. So let's do little ones up here. And the bigger ones look good on the card. Lost it. I thought also about adding some pearls, but when I was done, I was like, yeah, this is kind of stop. Sometimes I can be a more is more. And again, I wanted the this beautiful folder to kind of be the the obvious centerpiece of the card. Did I get all the glue? I think so. So you could add a couple more. But I think I like it just like this. Here's the one I've done before. So they're all gonna be a little bit different, mostly according to how you manage to get your thing in the folder. And the first time I ran it through, I didn't even really know like what was gonna be on there. It's kind of the first time you do one of these, a real discovery of what's on the folder. Like I've done these with some of our more floral designs. Um, and then you see exactly how many and what kind of flowers the artists put on the inside the folders. And so I wasn't aware that there were the starfish. And so I didn't know that there was many. And this one, I didn't have this one over here. And I thought, oh, I really like that. It really ties in with my cinnamon. So, and then I love the little seahorses. So that's what I have for you. Make sure you go and check my website. You can see how you can get the, the free ribbon and the ink spots this month. And you can see my upcoming classes. Everybody have a great weekend.
bye